do you really know how much battery you're using in your RV? Well, I got a tool to tell you that. Stay tuned and find out more. Welcome to another Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy the largest hands-on RV training academy in America. Hey, before we get to the video, which I know this is the reason why you're here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That way you don't miss anything. Hit the subscribe button now. Thank you. Now, back to our Tech Tip Tuesday. My name is Jeremy Wagers, and I'm the solar instructor here at the National RV Training Academy. So today on our Tech Tip, we're gonna kind of dive into all things solar. I'm gonna specifically talk about today, the shunt. You're asking, what's a shunt? Do I need a shunt? Why is this even being talked about today? Guess what? I'm gonna tell you today why and how these shunts work and also why it's necessary. Let's jump right in. All right, as you see here before me on this table, I have many different kinds of shunts. I've got big shunts, I've got little shunts. But guess what? I'm gonna tell you what they do and where they go. First of all, where do they go in your solar build? These shunts will go on the negative side of your batteries. What they're gonna do for us is they're gonna tell us information. The information that they're gonna be telling us is what the true state of charge of your batteries are and how much percentage you have left in them. Because what you've learned in past videos is with lithium batteries, it has a flat discharge. So why it might drop down to about 13.6 or 13.8 volts, we don't know how much is truly left in there. We don't know if it's at 13.6 at 80%, or if it's at 13.6 down to like 70, 60, 50, you know, how much percentage left do we truly have? That's where this little baby comes into play. What it does is it takes from our batteries, it goes in, it sells what's coming in and what's going out of our batteries at all times. It's kind of like a, um, a counter per se. It says what electrons come in and what electrons come out. So that's what the purpose of the shunt is. It lets us know how much battery power we have left before we need to either A, connect to a shore power, or B, turn on some sort of generator to be able to get our batteries charged back up. It lets us know what's going on in our batteries at all times. We got a question from the audience, kind of going deeper dive. So I kind of, what I just did is gave you a general overview of what a shunt does. Like I said, it monitors the state of charge of our batteries. So let us know at all times what's coming in and what's going out of our batteries. So the question from the audience was, is this just plug it in and leave it alone? No, actually what we need to do is we're gonna have to let our batteries get fully charged. So what I suggest anytime I'm doing a solar install or I'm teaching students like yourself maybe, um, what we need to do is let these get set up into what we call a float voltage. What that means is our batteries are fully charged. So then we're gonna go into the program here, uh, especially I kinda like to use the Victron because it lets us get in and set a lot of the, the parameters of this shunt. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna set what we call the SOC or the state of charge. We wanna make sure we set that to 100%, but we gotta make sure our batteries are fully charged, right? So once our batteries get fully charged, we go into the programs, we make sure our state of charge is set to that 100%. Because if we don't have that, we don't really know what the true state of charge for our batteries is, right? So once we go in there, we're gonna, that's gonna be one of the main things we have to do. Now, just like any component, any electrical device, every once in a while they can kind of get off, correct? So I always recommend, I tell my students, you know, tell your customers, tell your future installs that you're gonna be doing once a quarter, so it means every three months, go ahead, get out of nature for a night, plug into some shore power, get your batteries back fully charged, reset that state of charge. It's crucial, because if not, your batteries might be reading, saying one thing, but really what truly is left in those batteries might be another. You don't want your customer, or hey, even you, the boondocker, out in the middle of nowhere thinking you've got some battery life left, and when all actuality, everything goes dark. I don't know about y'all, but in this heat, I don't wanna be in the dark, especially with no air conditioning. So my thing is, I always tell good general rule of thumb, once every three months, plug back into shore, let that state of charge get set back up. One other thing I wanted to point out, so I wanna bring your attention right here to this shunt. And then I wanna show you what this shunt looks like. So notice the difference. If you look right here, this shunt has actually brains in it. This one right here 
while it's considered, yes, it is a shunt, it doesn't actually have any circuit board. So it doesn't have any knowledge. So what I'm saying is, while if you get on and you look up online, you look up shunt, you might see this. While this, yes, technically is a shunt, it doesn't have any of the circuit board like this one does to be able to relay that information that I just spoke to you on. So always, whenever you get out there, make sure you're ordering the right thing. I get it, especially there's so many things to look at. This is one thing I definitely wanted to make sure I talked to you all about. So if you get a shunt, make sure it has that read, that board in there to be able to relay that information. So you, as the consumer, customer, know exactly what's going on in your batteries at all times. Because if we don't have that, while this, yes, is a shunt, it doesn't have any of that information to be able to relay back to us. Definitely wanted to make sure that you understood that. So when you do go and you do start your project, whether it be DIY or you have someone install it for you, you know the parts components that are on there are tried and true and gonna give you the best value. So just kind of a quick recap, what we talked about, what it is, why it is, where it goes, and what's one of the main, main factors on it. There's tons more factors to it, but I didn't want you to get caught out into the dark and be like, ah, shunt. <laughs> and there's your tech tip. All right, before you get to the bloopers, which is why you're here in the first place, the RV industry needs thousands of RV technicians and inspectors, and now is the perfect time to do that. If you want to make more money or have more control over your time, go ahead and click the link below. Or if you just want to learn how to fix your own RV, got something for you there. Head over to rvtechcourse.com and get started today. Now for the reason that you're at the end of the video, roll the bloopers. <laughs> All right. Do? Yes. <laughs> I'm just asking, okay. I'm just, I'm just, we're spitballing here. Back and forth, back and forth here. You had them both in your hand, No, I got you. What you doing? Oh, we're just talking about some shunts. What are you doing, buddy? Well, shunt. Ah, shunt.